How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to the brand new game, The Ballad Singer. Something I've been keeping an eye on for like six months or something whenever I first heard about it. Very excited about this one. It was a Kickstarter project a while back. It was a successful one. Here we are today in early access. The gist of it is that it's like a choose your own adventure. But there are art pieces and uh, a soundtrack and full narration to go along with this. You can replay through things over and over again because there's so many branches in the storyline that you're unlikely to have the same story twice. You don't even need to start over. If your character dies, you get to pick up as a different character in that same narrative and continue on that larger story. So basically, there's like infinite possibilities here of where this story can end up going. I'm very curious to see how it goes as a let's play because it's going to be largely the game narrating itself me reacting and choosing I probably won't have a lot to say overall so that's kind of different it's very uh, different from what we usually have we've done a lot of narrative focused stuff in the past but never one that is so self-guided where it, it's so little input for me we'll see how it goes I'm pretty excited I think it could be a lot of fun for right now the assassin is locked Maybe that'll come later in uh, when it's out of early access. So there's the Ranger, which is Ankaran, Leon, Master of Elements, and Daragast, the Bard Warrior, is also unavailable right now. So we gotta go with one of these guys. I'm gonna go with the Ranger. I like being ranged classes in most things like this. The challenge is considered high? I mean, I'm kind of confused because it makes it look like there is no discrepancy really in the, the challenge of these two. We'll see. Combat skill relatively low. Potential opponents are more likely to be mystical than human I th is how I interpret that. Fame throughout Hesperia. Low, it would seem. Not many people know of him. Whereas, like, this guy's off the charts, I guess. Probably running around stringing, flinging magic spells in the, up in the air is a, a good way to become noticed. You would think being a cool forest archer lady named after an acorn would get uh, a little bit of notoriety as well. People would begin to know you, but apparently not. And her starting alignment, very neutral. So we're going to go with her for sure. And Karan comes from the Tower of Balinor, the outcome of a magic experiment. Her past is almost completely unknown. As the life expectancy of these creatures born of magic is quite brief, she intends to live her life as honorably as possible. Expert tracker and of good soul, she always tries to see the best in everything. However, this doesn't mean she can't be practical and ruthless. A skilled archer, and Karan is a fearsome foe to face from a distance. She's utterly loyal to the rebels and wants to bring peace to the world, so she'll follow any cause. Oh, there's more to it. <laughs> she finds just. I was going to say, like, any cause? Any cause she finds just. And Karan has a huge potential. She needs your help to change Hesperia's fate. I was kind of cruising through the difficulties here. There is something called Destiny, which I think was added at some point in the beta, which if you die, then I think you're allowed to kind of still see what would have happened, play out scenarios regardless. That's only available if you're playing like that basic difficulty. It becomes less and less available. Death becomes a little bit more perman permanent along the line. More likely, I should say. Death becomes more likely and more <laughs> permanent, if that makes sense. So you're very unlikely to die here. You can play through the story as this character probably start to finish quite easily. If somehow you screw up hard enough that you do die, you can spend this destiny to still explore the story. Here, down at the bottom, you're going to die and you're not allowed to see what's coming ahead. I'm gonna go just a, a tick off of that. I'm gonna go with the constant fear of death, it says, which I think is really funny. That's kind of what I want. I think that will make things more interesting. It'll be more uh, cautious and and uh, pontificate my choices a little more harder if I, if I think that I might die throughout all this. So that's what I'm going to go with. That's the one that I want. Campaign name. I'm not naming the character, right? She's already named. So Hysteria in Hesperia. I think that's clever as shit. <laughs> I'm happy with that already. We're off to a good start. I am awaiting narration to kick in at any moment, but I, I don't really... I don't entirely know what to expect from this. I was just won over by the concept of it alone, and I've largely avoided Several things otherwise. Didn't want any spoilers. 
His stubbornness resulted in a war for the conquest of Kaelsinar. However, he has yet to acquire all the knowledge he needs to dominate the nation. And with time, the entire world. As big, part of Kaelsinar has fallen under his heel, the resistance has risen to stop him. Just pause it for a second. So if Leon is another character that I could have played as, is this all set up so that you're playing through uh, parallel characters in a larger story? They're not, I mean, they're carrying out their own adventure, but as a part of this much larger narrative, that's pretty damn interesting. But it also makes me wonder if I die at some point, would I pick up as Leon? Is that kind of what it meant about taking over as another character in the story? Guess we'll find out. The head of the rebels has hidden in the Asmaran forest. He has called for a council to end the war and destruction wreaked by Leon. He is aware that people need a hero to inspire them if he is to gain back the trust that continues to falter day after day. The head of the rebels is none other than Raymond, the wizard who once ruled the Tower of Balinor. He turns to a ranger to search far and wide for the only person who could take on the role of such a hero. Oh, weird. It doesn't auto go to the Balagast next page. Lyar. As Raymond mulls over the desperate situation, he sips a glass of wine in his austere tent. He indulges in a singular, quiet moment before the volunteer for Daragast's search is called inside. And Koran, a young, green-skinned woman, sure steps out. She's a sylph and an expert tracker. She belongs to a new race, another failed magic experiment. However, instead of isolating herself from the world, she wishes to be part of it, so as to give her life meaning. And Koran wishes for acceptance. She longs to leave behind all the years of abuse and mistreatments. She has joined the resistance, seeking deliverance from her past. It's said that they have a pretty short lifespan, so it's kind of crazy to think, like, I don't know what they mean by short. Is this a world of mystical creatures where things live for like 400 years? Or is her life like 20 years? And she's had to, like, come to terms with the fact that she's the result of an experiment, but that she does want to, like, live as a part of the world with everyone else. And that, you know, she she lived through years of abuse and mistreatments and all this. Like, she is supposedly young in a species that doesn't live very long. So she's had a pretty crazy life up to this point. And Corin, I'm glad you've come forward for this mission. I want to help the cause, Raymond. Sylph replies. Where do you suggest I begin? The most recent intel we have dates a few years back, and comes from three different locations. You could try looking in the city of Akma, the forest of Rulath, or in Rost. Unfortunately, we can't tell which are trustworthy. I'll depart immediately, and Koran declares. Probably tempted to go to the forest, because I'm a bit of a forest for person. And Koran bows to Raymond and takes her leave to start packing for her journey. She needs supplies? weapons and money but first she needs to choose where she's heading city the forest or in rost i mean there's not a whole lot to go off of with rost not a lot of info forest is probably the most interesting sounding of the group of them uh it looks like it is just either it might be even a larger city or maybe that means it's a village they all just kind of look like little houses Houses. I will go with the forest because I'm a forest lady, and I think that makes the, the most sense. I gotta go be with my other land. acorns. Before you is a dark maze of trees and entangled branches. You'd rather not go into the woods now, as it's evening. But you need to find Daragast as soon as possible, so you wander into the forest. The path unravels between the trees, and as you advance, you hear some wolves. You rush forward as the call of the wild beasts grows closer. Mm. Finally, you spot a trembling light in the distance. Perhaps the window of a cabin? You hope to get there before the wolves are upon you, but it's too late. Three pairs of yellow <laughs> eyes point your way, and you'll have to face them. I Before I had a chance to like fully look at what the different options were going to be, I thought there was a slight chance that my options were going to be uh, make it to the house in time or don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would probably be set up more like you run to the house or you stay and fight, but it would be kind of funny if it was like possibly get murdered or don't. Those are your options. 
Uh, that's probably basically what the options are still. I just don't know which is which. Pearl of Volley of Knives. Ah, for anyone who needs all of it read to them, they have that as an option. That's nice and handy. It's good to have a game that fully supports uh, someone who would either have a hearing impairment or vision impairment. You can enjoy the game either way. I think that she, Rangers, probably more likely to have like knife throwing capabilities than they are short sword abilities. I'm gonna whip knives at these wolves. I'm gonna show those wolves what's up With creeping at me in the woods. The best stab in the is face. To strike first and quickly. You can't show any fear. You unsheathe your knives with both hands and hurl them in one single fluid movement. That sounds like a quick and confident enough movement. The, eyes. the third beast immediately stops growling, turns That's tail, deadly and accurate. Dies. Nature's perils seem to have come to an end, but your ranger's instincts suggest otherwise. Ruloth might still have a few surprises in store yet. Yeah, we're not out of the woods yet. We're literally still in the woods and we're also not out of the woods. Don't you see two presume to be safe. That would be a terrible idea. While the other looks like a beaten track, you close in and study both carefully before deciding which one to take. You may fall into a trap. The stone path is clearly the work of men. The other looks more like the result of animals passing by. Both could be safe. I trust my ability to take on uh, like nature more so than random bandits. I can probably take on both because I'm a badass archer, but I would think that bandits would be more likely to ambush a stone road or something. I'm going beaten track. We can we can kill that other wolf. He's probably cowering in a corner somewhere. We'll just, we'll take this dead corpse along with us and throw it at him or something. And be like, this is what happens. What do you think of that wolf? Going on the beaten track. The, the like animal footpath chosen seems to lead away from the cabin it keeps changing its course you're afraid you might run into that's what paths wolves. do that's Perhaps normal they wander creatures darkness is falling fast and even though you're an expert you'd rather avoid traveling like this do you know it would make a good uh, bit of kindling wolf corpses just chop up some wolves and get a fire roaring go back and take the other path mm -mm. keep going I see Your no reason to turn back off. now. You almost didn't this is why I chose the option of death is likely, is because I plan to play like an idiot side. and get myself killed. The window lights give away that someone inside is awake. Another howl echoes in the forest. You this shiver right and quicken choice. your step. You're so close now that if someone opened the door in time, you wouldn't have to face another fight. You approach the cabin and breathe a sigh of relief. As you knock, the door opens on its own. Inside, I wouldn't. The Sigh relief of doors opened themselves. It's a panic miles, moment. Diffusing a red glare. There are so many you can barely count them. An old blind woman sits at the center of the room. I've been expecting you, Ancoran the Sylph. Alright, a door swings itself open, you walk in, you see shelves and shelves full of either potions or blood. Doesn't matter, either one is a bad option. They've been expecting you, they know your name. Now is when you want the option of turn back. I don't care if this path was like, uh, you know, downhill the whole way, as luxurious as you could possibly hope for, and now you're gonna have to go through like an uphill, thistly bunch of shit. You wanna go back. This is, we don't wanna mess around with this. I don't. Maybe, maybe the, what's her name? Anchor and wants to. How do you know my name? I know many things, and I foresee others. I'm rarely wrong. Are you a seer? Yes. Can you help Good guess. Me? Maybe we're a Last seer as well. Your heart we listens. see her. It will huh. cost you two golden coins, one for each eye. Without a single That's word, a weird you place way the way to coins measure prices. Table. You've come prepared. We should stab one of her eyes out, lower the price a, a little bit. His name is Daragast Lyar. There is no one with that. <laughs> no one ever. Then, Shut up. You're wrong. Your Get out of here with your made up names. That's not what I said. What do you mean? You need to ask the right questions. Where can I find the person who lived by that name? That's better. 
The old woman smiles and continues. Mm, someone changed their name at some point. Rost. What's he doing in Rost? He plays a different instrument, but the song remains the same. You'd like to ask more questions, but the old lady raises her hand. Rest Shut up. On the I'm going to bed. In the back I already had my tea. No You'll more questions. Your journey tomorrow morning. Your no, let's not sleep not here. That's object. terrible. Can you go lie down? My instincts say let's get out of here. Morning, you wake up to find the house deserted and you feel empty somehow. Probably because we were robbed. They probably robbed right us. Away. Oh, I just realized we just walked in a giant circle. <laughs> we just ended up back at the same cabin, but just the other side. Maybe we were always destined to end up at the cabin. I don't know exactly, but we're going to head to Rost. This starts to feel a little bit like I'm being nudged away from my own choices. Now I want to go to the forest. Okay, but you need to go to Rost. I'm going to take this path. Okay, but you do end up back there again. We'll see. We'll see how much things feel like they divert from here. Perhaps they've seen strange creatures already. You ask a few people for Daragas Lyar, but no one can help you. You get to Maybe the blacksmith's hands and blacksmith. and a grizzled man with a toned body with the glasses So toned. He Such a toned body. The, the music here felt a little loud. I'm gonna- I wanna jack up the voice a little bit over there. On with his hammer. The metal seems to be singing. How may I help you? The blacksmith asks. I'm looking for a man. Name? Daragast Lyar. The blacksmith nearly loses his grip on the hammer. He's Daragast Lyar. Called Something it. Nailed it. I'm off, a genius. And you continue to press the man. I don't oh, think wait, so. shit. This Your is like the bard warrior or whatever his name is, isn't it? The blacksmith threatens you with his hammer, his eyes flaming. You'd better listen to me and go back where you came from. Calm down. I didn't mean to tick you off. I'm... Oh, shit. I just wanted to see what the rest of the it was. The blacksmith looks down and continues All right. his work. Fair the enough. That's the option we went long with. Ago. I don't think he shall ever be back. He replies evasively. Kaelsinar needs him. No. The rebels need him. You have no hope. At least we fight. And you shall die. Every last one of you. If Daragast should ever show up, tell him he can find me in she the Ismaran right? forest. She knows, right? She knows this is him. It feels a little obvious, doesn't it? You turn on your heels and leave without waiting for his reply. Oh, now we jump into Leon's path five years earlier? Peculiar. For years now, peace has been reigning over the That's continent kind of, of Hesperia. The feats of ancient heroes, warriors, and magicians will live on as legends and children's bedtime stories. Everything is back to normal. Markets and trades are flourishing, raids of marauders are rare, and brigands have mostly taken to dwell in hidden groves and forests. However, Wizards have lost control over their dark experiments. The Tower of Valinor has become the cradle of new races and monstrous creatures. They now roam free in the lands of Kaelsinar and beyond. Leon, a powerful wizard withdrawn to the shadows, belongs to this world. Leon plans to carry out his obscure designs and bring back the darkness of his own past. He had studied at Valinor under the great wizard Raymond until he decided to take his own path. We're kind Leon of hearing the same story the over again here. Survive when he was but a boy. And isn't this just one of the other characters you could have started as? Just never forget who took him away from his family, from everyone dear to him, and from his kingdom. Now, he feels the time has come to take everything back. Thanks to his magical talent, he's mastered all of nature's elements, but he has several choices to make. He could expand his powers, the task would set him on the research of the book that would allow him to learn a new type of sorcery bound to blood. His own master had revealed to him the existence of manuscript. Seems kind of or necromatic, he maybe? Tomb, hiding a crucial artifact, a relic containing the blood of two ancient wizards. They both had the power That's to the good blood. All That's the kind of blood you want to keep in, keep on hand, course, lock away for a rainy also day. Recruit some allies. What would be better than befriending a dragon? If you can swing it, they're kind of the testy way, folk, hard to hard to buddy up with. Him. He has just left the Tower of Balinor and has no intention of turning back. 
He meditates until the winding path springs you back to the backside. For his life. You won't realize you turned back, but secretly you did. The, path. the dull sky, laden with clouds, mirrors the torment grasping his chest. Leon has a good soul, but he shall bear no limitations to achieve his goals. He faces three choices. Ah, uh, of course he does. <laughs> Where where would he like to head? It seemed like he didn't have set exact destinations, more concepts. Retrieve the book, search for the dragon, find the tomb with the relic. The dragon seems a little on the nose, like that's the one everyone would go for. Tombs and relics seem kind of mystical and neat. We're going to go read a book. We're going to go with a library, because I assume that's the option people are least likely to choose. So I feel like it would be kind of fun to explore that branch here and now Leon instead. decides to go after the book of blood magic he heads northwest for I mean the it city is a book of, of blood magic so it's not like it's a super border, lame book it's not desert. like a dictionary he or something but an old it is still just a book to start issuing his first commands his journey proceeds smoothly and after about one day Leon crosses the city gates his eyes meet a ghastly scene Remagast is still in ruin Triumvar Lutanor the blood wizard who tried to take over Kalsinar had dealt it a harsh blow. Though the wizard Keeping was defeated, these names is going to become been a nightmare, able to hide away it? the secrets of his sorcery. Leon had been able to gather such information due to being closely tied to the wizard's story. Their hearts were just as dark. He moves among the alleys of the city, heading to a tavern with a sign so badly faded that the name can no longer be read. He has the feeling that his man might be within those walls. The hall is crowded, and the noise is deafening. Nobody notices Doesn't look his that entrance. Crowded. <laughs> Everyone Save must be shouting at the top of their lungs continuously. To his pointed ears move as if they have a life of their own. Leon Cat recognizes ear him right away and heads for the elf's table. Good day, Aunt Kalimo. Good day to you, Leon. What brings you here? My design is moving forward declares the wizard with ill-concealed pride. Not a very, like, what graceful elven voice. He Head sounds like he hasn't had a drink of water in the army, 48 take hours. Take the city and ready yourselves to move against Balinor, Leon orders. Has the time finally come? I gotta go back here. Elfos, I gotta hear army, him say this word. Is moving forward, declares the wizard with ill-concealed pride. What do you need me to do? Head to Snelfos, gather the army, take the That's city... Exactly how I thought it would be said. It's a very Balinor. absurd word, and it reminded me of like Elfo the from the new show Disenchantment. Come. Indeed. I thought it was what an elf whose name do? was Snellfo. They didn't even try. They gave the all these complicated names. Render us invincible. No. Whatever it was that we had just like uh, two pages ago here, Triumvar Lothonanar, whatever the hell it was, something along those lines, and Regamast, and all these different like big cool fantasy sounding names and then they were like i don't know man there's like 40 more characters in this chapter alone i'm running out of names real quick snelfo the elf is that gonna fly for everyone is everyone to prove that one we're going it's like a poochie the dog situation yeah with snelfo snelfo is good then next up we'll have dwarby the dwarf and then century the centaur you know, you see what I'm getting at. Just lazy naming. <laughs> Although it seems like it's a place. Maybe elves come from Snelfo. That'd be amazing. When, you, you know, you come from Canada, you're Canadian. You're an elf, you come from Snelfo. Time to lose, then. We need to act now, declares Leon. <laughs> I came in with just time to lose, then. The no had already been spoken, so they're giving up immediately. Yeah, I think we might as well just throw in the towel. I checked. I checked. I, I went and Leon looked at the big clock tower outside. It's time to lose. To restore his energy, after fleshing out the last details of his plan with Ankalimo, he resumes his journey to the north. First, however, he must carefully choose the enchantments he'll rely on. Triumvar Lotanor was able to bend all of nature's elements to his will, so he needs to be ready for any circumstance. As evening falls, the wolves' howls echo More the wolves. ominous landscape. This entire game is just the all about fighting wolves, isn't an it? Imposing jet tower. I knew it. Searching around the complex, he locates the door with surprising ease. Leon is skeptical. 
he had expected some sort of magical ploy to be hiding it. Perhaps all of Triumvar's enchantments were lifted upon his death. However, his sixth sense warns him that something isn't quite right. Examining the tower thoroughly, he finds the bones of a mouse. A trap appeared. His sixth sense, he can look around a room and then extinguish his torch and still tell you where every object in the room was. His sixth sense. ...to still be operational. Leon studies the corpse closely and analyzes the ground Appears to be dead. <laughs> he notices that the bones are broken and the soil seems to be overturned. The wizard must now choose which magic to use to safely enter the tower. That seems like there's high death possibility here. I don't want to screw this up again, so I don't want to... I'm, I guess you can't click on the little dot dot dots. I guess if I really want to hear the full thing, I have to click on this. Shoot a jet of water against the door to tear it. Lay one hand on the door and turn it into sand. That sounds like a very overpowered skill. Create a vortex to get to the windows high above. Or just blow the door down, you know, huff and puff, maybe something like that. See, oh, you just hover over it and then it goes to the next one. Just use, wolves are such a key to this game. I think you've got to use the wolves strategy. Burn the door. It's made of wood and will give in easily. Really all that this spell is, he doesn't actually have any sort of fire skills. He just dumps a bunch of gasoline, uh, a little bit of hard alcohol on there and throws matches at it. To tear it off its hinges down. I made it more complicated. Because of the whole theme of wolves and huffing and puffing and things, even though this feels like almost the least practical one, we're going to use a cool tornado jump. There, I made it sound cooler. Now it sounds a little a little neat. We're going to vortex leap our way over everything. I feel like that's the most action-oriented Tom Cruise-style move. Leon enters the tower effortlessly. Effortless. The room is pitch black, guys. save for a single glimmer of light that shines on a desk. As Leon takes a step forward, the windows shut abruptly and everything fades to black. A heavy silence looms over the room. The only sound Leon can hear is a dripping noise that grows increasingly louder until it resembles that of a babbling brook. The water soaks Leon's How long feet, do you sit there listening to that to drip? His ankles. Even though he can't see anything, he must hurry. Leon feels his way around the room. I don't care how rapidly that's dripping. If it's dripping rather than a stream of water, it's going to take a long time to become a brook. He really committed to their just standing and analyzing. Soon it will reveal its secrets to me. <laughs> light a flame in the palm of the hand to light up the room. There must be some way of slowing the flow of water. Solidify the door to stop the flow. What, we just want to fill the entire room with water? Are you mad? Create a water barrier around Leon. Fighting water with water could be the winning choice. It sounds like not. It sounds like that would be a very foolish option. It's rising to his ankles. I think light would be dumb. I don't understand remotely why you would want to close things off in the door i say let's do that maybe we'll find there's like a drain somewhere else i don't i don't know it's a set it seems stupid let's do it because it seems stupid because it seems His unlikely. magic doesn't work as he <laughs> he drowns leon can't see anything in the room and conjures a random enchantment which doesn't allow him to oppose the element that threatens him Unluckily what a stupid him, element to the choose water then. flow is so abundant that it submerges him far too quickly. Oh, look at him he just drowning there. He doesn't have another damn. chance to respond. The water completely invades the place, leaving him trapped. This is the end for Leon, who suffers greatly as he drowns. And then it goes on and on for like eight more minutes describing the ways in which he suffered as he drowned. The ways that he tried to call out for his loved ones but his lungs filled with the rushing cold liquid the way that he pissed himself <laughs> and cried like a little baby but no one could tell because of all the water that was submerging him damn um being dumb for the sake of a laugh is fun but it's a good way to get yourself killed so he died he is a dead boy Continue with another character or repeat the fatal choice. 
I don't really want to repeat the fatal choice. I assume what would actually happen is it would, you know, you would get to choose one of the other two options. For now, I think I'm just going to leave things here because it's a funny place to leave things. When I killed myself in a, in a game that's supposed to have, like, this very long, expansive, drawn-out story, and I managed to kill this guy who is, like, notorious throughout all the land. Everyone's heard of Leon the Magician. And then he walked into a room, sealed off everything, and drowned. And it was entirely his own doing. Pretty, pretty shitty fate for this guy in the end, and it's all my fault. I'll sit back and I'll live with those consequences. I think this is a fun game. I think it's a funny little uh, way to mix things up from a standard shoot and run and dash and jump game games, you know? This is just a narrative game, so it's something a little different. I thought it would be fun. It seems like these branching stories could get really out of hand. I think I, I've, I'm teasing the game a lot about the fact that it, like, circles back on choices. I bet you there were ways to spend more time in the forest before it directed me to Rost. I bet you I, I could have went to the city and not even gone to Rost at all. Like, I, I'm making fun of the fact that it felt like they looped back. It's hard to say right away how branchy the story is actually going to be. By nature, they have to have a finite number of choices, right? So now and again, it will loop back. I might have just got unlucky with two really close together that felt that way. We'll see how things go, but there's a lot of new stuff on the channel very recently, very close together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this up on Patreon. Well, this will be on the YouTube channel. You're obviously watching it, but I'm going to put a poll with this and like a couple other games, maybe one or two other new games, one or two other like old, long forgotten series from the channel, something like that. And I want to revive one of them as like a patron chosen series so if you have interest in seeing this one continuing on you can become a patron the minimum is a dollar maximum is of however the hell much you want and there's nothing in between I, you get everything for a dollar and it's totally up to you if you want to contribute more so there's that option i'll have a link to that down below if you guys are considered also in the end cards here could could be a way to keep the series running otherwise it's it'll be like a goofy little one-off here an experimental little thing we'll see how it performs how it does on the channel thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you again soon.